How to fast and easy split the screen if you want in the top, maybe YouTube in the bottom. You want WhatsApp or WhatsApp or Facebook. All you have to do is open the apps and when you open, you must click here in these three like bars and here you're going to see the apps that are in the background. So you must search the two apps you want to split. Let's say we want in the top, you want this YouTube. So we press in the icon of YouTube and here you're going to see this option called open and split screen. Now that's going to go up and now here is going to show you all the other apps you want that they be in the bottom. Let's say maybe Facebook want to be in the bottom. So let's go with Facebook in the bottom. If you want to close, you don't want no more split screen. Just only have to swipe this down and always, always the app that's in the top will remain like the principles. Tip or trick of your screen. Did you know that we can make an adjustment automatic of the colors and brightness in function of the light we have or ambient light in the zone where we are? We go to settings, go to display, and then we find this option by default is disactivated. Adjust colors and white balance based on ambient light conditions. And this how it's going to do it is going to be activating our camera. So that's going to be something that the first time you activate it is going to take out that noise in that note and tell you this function activates the camera to see how is the ambient light. And I don't know if you can see that the brightness has changed and the colors have changed a little bit. Let's disactivate this and you can see how it colors change again. Now, if you want to move multiple apps to the home screen, so you go in this case, your apps are not here in the principal screen of your phone. You're going to swipe up and here are all the apps that are here in the apps box. So I want to move a lot. So let's see. I want to move the YouTube music app and another app. So let's press select here where you can see select and here I can select all the apps that I want to move. You can select all the ones you want and then you're going to do and hold one of them and you can see all are in my finger. When I have select all of these, I'm going to go up, go up and release it here. And here we have all these apps in the secondary screen or the first screen of your phone. Fast and easy how to put a oh, custom picture of a person or something and you're always on display. As you can see here, I have this picture. How can you do it? Very easy. All you have to do, let's close all this, is go enter your options or wallpaper. So we entered here, leave press in any place of the screen. Here, go to wallpaper and style. And this first option is the block screen of your phone enter this option and now here in the top we can see the options of wallpapers and we're going to have the option of gallery so you are going to find or search in your gallery any picture you want go done and then you're going to crop it the size of what you want to find maybe you want to give me a donation if this video was good for you and go done and that's all you have to do that's how you can put a personal picture or a custom picture in your blog why cameras flip the pictures when they take selfie picture and this is the reason this is a picture taken by the phone by default and by default it's gonna flip the picture so the letters come and be in order when the picture is not flipped this is what's gonna happen the letters are gonna be in disorder if we enter the camera as you can see, if I make a zoom here, you can see that the pictures are not in the order that they should be. For example, if I enter here and make a zoom, let's make a zoom, we're not making a zoom, but I don't know if you can see that the letters are in disorder. If you don't want or you want to the pictures be flipped, you enter here settings and then you find the option called save selfies as preview and use this activated or activated if you want it to be flipped or not. Fast and easy how to prevent killing an app that is working in the background or in second place. What you have to do is enter here in the three lines that are in, in the bottom so you can see all the apps that are working in the background. If you want to prevent that one of these, one of these will maybe shut off, what you're going to do is go up here in this little circle of the app and then you can only do it with one app and press keep open because if I try another app, maybe this one, you can see I cannot 
select keep open now if maybe i forget that this app i cannot turn it off and i try to close all of them it will close all of them but will not close the one i have made the option of keep open that's the way you can protect an application will shut off if you maybe by error shut all of them off let me show you a tip that's new in these new android phones and these samsung phones if you don't want or you don't like that when you rotate your phone you automatically be rotating everything you can control this but there's an additional tip so you go down and swipe to the notifications and by default this is activated but if you hold and press this option let's hold and press down here you must see this option to be activated so if i unlock you have it you must have this activated show rotation bar in the navigation bar so now i disactivate it and then in any app if i'm going to rotate now it's not rotated but but see here there's a new icon there appears very small maybe you didn't see it let's rotate again here it's going to appear if i press it now it's going to rotate only if i press it if i rotate back it will appear again down here and if I press it, it will rotate again. So now you have the control of rotation when you want it to be rotated. So if you didn't know, comment, share, and give me some tips. Give me some money, some pennies. If the video was good for you, and thank you.